directly, Honorable Speaker. This is a matter that uh, uh, even uh, as we speak here, the relevant government authorities should be able to pick it up so that we don't allow the, uh, the citizens to continue suffering again. Honorable Speaker, thank you, and I support this petition. Member for Moya. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I think the issue of the management of public land and community land, as it may, uh, needs to uh, be looked at by the government, Mr. Speaker. I, I say this because, number one, I'm not sure we have a complete system or database where one can go and search for public grants, say, in my constituency. Lack of that, Honorable Speaker, has caused anxiety, and people continue to practice grabbing that was in the past. I have a case, Honorable Speaker, in Mwea, in a no, place now, called... Now, now, you see, you know, this is the problem. <laughs> Comments, uh, clarifications on this specific petition. It, it's similar. If we allow that, then it will become now... Maybe the member had a point when he talked about uh, his colleagues from uh, Tana River County, but because they, they don't know how to, uh, to, to use the, the gadgets, I think, because they are from Tana River, they, they, haven't, they haven't requested. Th so, thank you, Honorable Speaker. But we'll, we'll, try, we'll try to look for them. I suspect some of those ones raised up, raising up their hands are from there, but uh, it is not done that way. Don't raise hands. Okay. Thank you, Honorable that. Speaker. I think the issue is on management of public land and community land that needs to be looked at more seriously than probably it is currently because it's an issue out there that the government needs to concentrate on and come up with a database that one can get into and know the size and description of public land in this country. Thank you. Member Volamu. Asante bwana speaker mimi nami naunga mkono ombi la mheshimiwa wa Rio um, ili tatizo linafali suluhishwe maana likisuluhishwa hata sisi watu alamu tutafaidi Asante bwana speaker Member for Ugunja Mr speaker this is a, indeed a, a very important petition and uh, uh, I just pray that uh, the committee on lands under the chairmanship of my friend honorable Nyamai would expedite uh, uh, the, their action on this matter so that the people of Tana River, especially the constituents of my, my good friend, Honorable Rio, uh, get justice. The issue of land, uh, as has been pointed out, is, remains very controversial. And it was the expectation of Kenyans that with the promulgation of the 2010 Constitution and with the creation of a whole, a whole commission in charge of this issue of land, such matters will be addressed uh, with finality. Yes, uh, I hope this committee will deal with this matter very expeditiously. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Member for Saku. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I support this petition. Initially, Galana Kulalu was set aside for agriculture. It is also the most productive land in the constituency of Garsen. But over the years, nothing has happened on that land. The land is left fallow, the community is not using. It is the high time this land reverts back to the community. And I believe Honorable Member is saying, the Gazette, indeed it should have been done long time ago when the land became not usable for agriculture. I thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, land is a factor of production, and I do support the petition, Mr. Speaker, that if the land is not utilized, the land, Mr. Speaker, should be degazetted. And as the land is being degazetted, Mr. Speaker, we know very well that this land is under the ADC, and the ADC is under the Ministry of Agriculture. So, Mr. Speaker, when you look at this particular petition, it will actually involve both the, the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Lands. And as we move forward, Mr. Speaker, ADC owns a lot of land countrywide, even in Transoya. But some of the land is fallow. We had also done a petition, Mr. Speaker, from Transoya that part of the ADC land should be degazetted to form a university. Up to now, it's never been done. 
So as the Committee of Lands look into this matter, they try to expedite because there are so many petitions under the committee. So I'm humbly requesting, uh, Honorable Nyamaya, as you look into this, please also don't forget the Transoya issue on the ADC land to be given a university. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Nominee 001. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, uh, as uh, Honorable uh, Chris has said, is that uh, land is a factor of production. And when the land is held in the government custody, but it does not produce honorable speaker, then it's a loss to this country. It is a loss for all of us. If then the agriculture and the irrigation that had failed, it have failed, then it is just uh, common sense for the government to degazette that parcel of land, revert it to the people of uh, uh, Tana River, so that they can use it as a factor of production so that we can have uh, food security, Honorable Speaker. There are pastoralists, Honorable Speaker. They should be, uh, the land should be degazetted, and the Honorable Chair for that committee is here. He, she, she should actually look into all the land that is laying idle in the hands of ADC, Honorable Speaker, and degazette all of them so that we can use them to produce food, Honorable Speaker, because we have acute shortage of food in this country. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Member from Vita. Mr. Speaker, something that might be correlated on the 23rd report of the Public Investment Committee, we had tabled something in regards to uh, the National Irrigation Board. And Mr. Speaker, I did provide a disclaimer. There was the issue of Golano Kalalu that we were going to table as a special report on its own because of how detailed it is. And maybe with your uh, indulgence and your uh, uh, guidance, Mr. Speaker, because we don't want equally to come up with, some, with something else because uh, the uh, NIB, who took part of that land from ADC as well for purposes of this project, have indicated otherwise. But I do agree. I sympathize uh, with uh, the honorable member who raised this particular petition. But with your, with your uh, permission, Mr. Speaker, if you could also allow him to be able to share it with us, uh, and uh, maybe when we're looking into it, we look into it uh, holistically. Allow who to share? The, the, mem the, the uh, uh, member, Mr. Speaker, so that when we are calling in the NIB, we can also be able to now formally request him as well to, 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 to be there. But this is a petition which is specific. Member for Kajiado North. Uh, uh, thank you, Speaker. I, I want to see things differently. Uh, Mr. Speaker, why these pieces of land were gazetted those times? Our forefathers had uh, a foresight on how they can be used. There are so many petitions at urge to gazette lands in Kenya. Uh, like in other places, you will find that uh, land that was set aside for veterinary purposes, people want to gazette and share. So it should be used for the purpose that was done. I know there are so many lands that have been gazetted and people are agitating for that. If we see the bigger picture of the country, I think we should uh, uh, not the gazette what was gazetted for that particular purpose, unless that purpose is no longer viable with us. If it is not viable now, our future generation will, be, will see it used, uh, uh, the better use for that particular land for all Kenyans, not one particular community. I oppose. Member for Kilifi North. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Galana Kulalu, if left the way it is, will be another big land problem in this country, like we've had, especially in the coast. We've had so many problems of land in the coast. Now, the Galana Kulala, if we don't solve it now, we'll have another problem. The petition by uh, Honorable Wario is that Galana Kulalu should be degazetted, and they are one very valid reason. Government mandaries are actually subdividing the land and giving it to themselves without consent of parliament as required by law. That is what is happening. There are people, secondly, there are people who have occupied that land even before ADC came. And these people are living in that land as squatters. One way of solving the problem of squatters is to degazette the land so that the people who are there get the land because ADC is not using the land. The land that is for the, for the farm, the big farm that the government has wanted, the one million, is there. And even that one, the chairman of ADC himself said 300,000 acres of the land has been taken by people. That's what the chairman said. And yet this land has not been degazetted. 
and yet the squatters who are there living currently cannot have access of that land. Why don't we follow this petition, degazette the land, allow the squatters to get titles to it, and then whoever wants to give to whoever can give. But let's save the people, and let's save this land, let the correct thing be done. Right now, people are actually subdividing this land, the ADC Galana Kulal. We lost ADC Sabaki in Malindi the same way. It was given to around 2,000 people, the indigenous missed. Now this other ADC land in coast in Kilifi, which borders Kilifi, part of it is in Kilifi, the other one is in Tanarim, is actually going the same way. Mr. Speaker, I would urge the committee, which I am a member, and I will push this, the land should be degazetted, and the process followed so that it is degazetted. The people who have benefited from ADC land in this country, very many people, because they are mandaries of government. We want to stop it this time and ensure the right thing is done at the coast by giving the land to the people of the coast. Degazette it. This land must be degazetted. You know, the opportunity, if you, if you look at it, I want to encourage every one of us, eh? please, whenever a petition is presented, just very quickly go to standing order number 226 so that uh, you, you understand uh, what, what you're supposed to do is to make comments, observations, and or seek clarifications. And the time allocated for those comments and clarifications and observations is only 30 minutes. Now, when we make it the uh, opportunity for debate, you know, we, 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 we lose the plot. And those others who are raising hands, I don't operate that way. I don't, you use, use your machine, eh? Yeah, then I'm following, I'm following. So don't, don't bother. Don't bother raising hand up. You, even you, don't, don't raise your hand up. We don't, we don't, yeah, this is a National Assembly, not a garrison or whatever. I mean, member for Kapuchai. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Also, I support this uh, petition from Honre Buwariyo, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in the first place, if this land that is meant for ADC is already being ut utilized by people, it means ADC itself, Mr. Speaker, has failed to carry its duties. The, pop, the main purpose why it got this. So I support Mr. Speaker for this big assessment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me a chance also to contribute on this uh, petition. Mr. Speaker, there was a reason why the government, uh, uh, why the government keep land huge chunk of land, Mr. Speaker, always it is for future of the, the, gener the new generation that is coming, Mr. Speaker. And for some time, Mr. Speaker, people have misused the land that the government have set aside for future use. And Mr. Speaker, in near future, we are going to lack land like the generation that is coming, Mr. Speaker. And then we'll start uh, maybe looking for somewhere where there's no land again, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I support, but Mr. Speaker, by saying that the government must be very keen for the Dika settlement, because uh, in this side, some sites of, um, uh, like let's say Western, oh, there's no land, Mr. Speaker. And in the future, we might uh, migrate from Western to Kalana, Mr. Speaker, because the population there in Kalana is, 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 is not large as people from our area, Mr. Speaker. So it is for future use. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member for Tana River. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also rise to support the petition. Uh, I come from Tana River, and I know how sensitive it is on the issue of land in Tana River, and particularly in Gersen. People believe that uh, we have plenty of land, but we, it's not enough for us, it's scarce. And being that uh, the purpose that was set for that land is not, it's not what we are seeing, then I also support that the land should be degazetted. Because uh, 
people have been people are being transported from other areas to that place and the land in land is being subdivided to those people thank you mr speaker i support the petition member for migori thank you mr speaker i rise to support this petition mr speaker my observation has been that we have had very ugly incidences in uh, Tana River over the past years because of land issues. If this land is hardly, uh, lying idle there, it should be degazetted to solve the communal uh, community's problem with land. It is in, uh, unfair that we should have land that should serve the people and it is not serving the people in the proper manner. So let it be degazetted and allocated to people procedurally. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member for Soy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support this petition, Mr. Speaker, because it is very important that wherever there is land, first persons to be considered should be those who are residents of that area. And we know that the coast region is one area that has suffered heavily because of uh, land injustices. And Mr. Speaker, I support the petition. Member for Funula. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. It's also important that such a matter has been brought to the attention of the nation because issues of land are very emotive. Honorable Speaker, the Constitution, the National Land Commission Act, has got very specific timelines and mechanisms of addressing the matter at hand. I do believe the Lands Office, the Lands Committee, is well equipped to deal with the matter. Secondly, conversion of public land, because gazetted land is public land, to private land or any other form of land ownership is dictated by the provisions of the Land Act, number six of 20, 2012, I do believe it should be able to guide. Finally, Honorable Speaker, any land that remains idle and unproductive, a means must be found to put into productive use unless there's just a capable cause for land banking. With those few remarks, I, I, com I support the petition. Member for Kamukunji. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I stand to support the petition uh, by Honorable uh, Wario. Uh, the Tana River uh, area of Kenya, the Delta, the Tana River Delta, is one of the uh, major wetlands of our region. And yet, if you look at the, uh, the plight of the people of that neighborhood, it's that they're not able to efficiently use that land, and many of them uh, live in poverty because of land scarcity or access uh, to land. And I think uh, if this particular space of land that had been gazetted is no longer being used for the purpose that it has been allocated, it is just right that we get it back so that it can be used by the community. And these are communities that have uh, uh, are under pressure uh, of resource limitations, scarcity of resources. And as you know, scarcity of resources uh, is a major source of conflict. Uh, and therefore, this would be an opportunity for them to be able to utilize that land and ease uh, some of the tension and the problems that exist in that particular uh, part of our country. The other worrying element of uh, uh, this gazette